Hello guys, it is me, Abomination115, and today I'm going to be showing you how to dramatically increase your uTorrent speed. So as you can see at the moment here, my speed is at 2.2 megabytes per second right there. Um, 2.3 megabytes per second. Um, and that's very fast for me. I don't know if you guys might have faster uTorrent speeds, but mine's averaging around 2 uh, megabytes per second because I've updated some um, some settings. As you can see, I'm downloading Adobe Photoshop CS6. Uh, the final version and it's just downloading extremely quickly 1.82 gigabyte uh, file and as you can see it's, it's just very quick and uh, apparently there's going to be going to take 16 minutes to download the rest of the file so I'm going to show you how I did this so you want to go to uh, this is uTorrent 3.4.1 this will probably work for future versions of uTorrent or previous versions of uTorrent uh, but you just want to go to options and then preferences and now we're going to go to connection right and uh, now people are going to give you lots of different ports to put in the port box on the connections tab here but I like the 45682 port, there's different ports if this port doesn't work for you then you can try other ports but again 456 and 45682 and then you want to make sure these three boxes are ticked this is not ticked and this drop down box here is set to none and then you want to go into bandwidth um, now your global upload rate that you can change this however you want if you like to see it or whatever uh, and then you can put this up higher mine's on five then your maximum download rate put about 5,600 5,000 um, around that um, to uh, to make sure that uh, you get the most out of your download uh, download speed then your global maximum number of connections 200 maximum number of connected peers per torrent but about 2000 and number of upload slots per torrent about uh, 15 around that mark and that should be 15 um, then uh, I find the these two unticked and this ticked to be the best but some people tell you to tick this box or whatever uh, but you can try that if you want I find it better to just have this ticked uh, now you want to go into BitTorrent. You want to make sure all four of no all of these are uh, are ticked, apart from this box here, limit local peer bandwidth. So all of these ticked apart from that box. And now uh, protocol encryption outgoing. You can either have that enabled or forced. I find forced to be a lot better than enabled. So that's why I put on forced. Queuing. Um, number of active torrent is a hundred. I mean you can lower that or increase that depending on how many torrents. Uh, that's Skype. <laughs> Uh, but you can lower this and decrease this on depending on the amount of torrents that you uh, download uh, or upload. Um, then the number of active downloads, 100, again, increase that or decrease that on the amount of stuff you're doing in uTorrent. I don't do a lot in uTorrent, so therefore I've made it 100. Now, your maximum ratio, 150%. You could make that 200% if it's uh, being slow, but I just like to put 150%. Minimum speeding ti seeding time is zero. Minimum number of available seeds zero. Untick this and untick this, and you are about done here. We're going to go on to advanced. You want to click the plus arrow here in advanced. Go to disk cache. Make sure this top one here, override automatic cache size and specify the size manually, is unticked. Make sure reduce memory usage when the cache is not needed. Make sure it's ticked and then under advanced cache settings enable cacheing of disk writes tick that then untick the two boxes beneath that um, then tick enable cacheing of disk reads untick these two boxes here and then tick the final box at the bottom then what you want to do is actually click on the advanced tab you want to go to bt dot connect underscore speed you want to click on it and you want to change the value to 50 and then click set you then want to scroll uh, scroll down let me find it uh, somewhere around here um, BT allow same IP you want to click on that then click true uh, let's scroll down next one's about the GUI I think so scroll down until you get to here, GUO, G GUI dot show underscore no torrents uh, underscore node. Click on that and make sure that is false by clicking the false button there. Um, anything else you change about here? Just making sure. Nope. Okay, let's keep going. 
Uh, you want to go to peer dot disconnect underscore inter inactive underscore interval. You want to click on that, change the value to one hundred and twenty, and then click set. You want to go to rss dot update underscore interval and change that to thirty, and then click set. And um, so anything else other than that? Let's just check again. I think there's something that you changed to two thousand. Um, you just check here. All right, is it? I think it's this here. Um, we just check. Yeah, okay, so you want to go to gui.update underscore rate and change that to 2000. Click set. No, it's not 2000, that's 3000. 2000 and click set. And you are done. Um, now, what you want to do is uh, click apply and then OK. And you'll have the same amount of speed as me. As you can see, mine's decreased to 1.3. But I am using Skype and the internet and everything. Um, again, I'm back up to 2 now. But. Um, Right, and now this is not going to happen automatically. Your download screen will actually dramatically increase, de a decrease, uh, before it increases. Um, now, if you've already got a torrent active, um, you might want to stop that and restart uTorrent by left clicking and right clicking the bottom here, going to exit, and then obviously restart a new torrent. Um, and then the download speed should increase when you restart the torrent. Um, so don't expect this to happen straight away. If you start a new torrent as soon as you've done that, it should apply those settings to it and download it as fast as this. Um, but if none of these settings work, as I said, you can try changing the port and changing different uh, options. Um, but if none of those settings work, then what you want to do is you want to um, reset it, reset your uTorrent stuff. So you want to press the Windows key and R so you can get run. You then want to type in percent app data percent press enter and now you're going to get up the file explorer it's going to put you in the roaming um, now my, my computer has recently been wiped I wiped a 750 gigabyte uh, hard drive so now I've got uh, literally nothing in here but anyway we're going to go to uTorrent double click that there and where is it you want to go to settings.dat and settings.dat old you want to select both of them and then delete them now the reason you want to delete these is obviously this is your settings data and once you delete that and uh, you want to make sure you've got uTorrent, uTorrent closed when you do this but once you delete that and then restart uTorrent your settings will be back to how they were you'll reset your settings um, because you have obviously deleted your app data um, of your settings of uTorrent via the app data so uh, yep that's just a quick way to get about two megabytes of download speed as you can see mine is, is varying around about one to two megabytes which is actually very fast for uTorrent um, and my connection but uh, yeah they hot Russians <laughs> uh, yeah that's uh, that's it um, hope you guys enjoy rate comment subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video goodbye